everyone, we've got a Dell Inspiron 3847 desktop computer here. We're going to upgrade the RAM on today and show you how that works. This one has a uh, stock RAM of 8 gigabytes. That's two 4 gigabyte modules in it. And they're DDR3 type. I'll have links down at the bottom to uh, what you need to upgrade this. Uh, pretty standard desktop memory upgrade. Anyway, uh, this thing's pretty old now. It's um, probably eight years old, six to eight years old, and it's really bogged down. It goes real slow. So anyway, let's get right to it. We've got uh, a screw here and up here that you'll remove. It's a Phillips head. And then this plate right here just slides back like that. And there's all the internals. So I've previously upgraded the hard disk drive. While we're in here, I'll just show you all the stuff. That's right here. Just unplugs and slide in the new one. Uh, that's a three terabyte drive replacement there. And then you've got your other common things that need to be fixed are the power supply up here. Those are real easy to swap out. You just unscrew it and then unplug it. Um, in a couple of different places. Easy job. I have not done the processor on this. A lot of times it's not worth it to try to upgrade the processor, but uh, I haven't really looked into this, but usually doing a RAM upgrade is the the most uh, cost-effective way to really speed up your computer when you're running multiple programs or it's got a lot of stuff running in the background like antivirus software it tends to slow things down a lot. But anyway, here's the RAM modules here, and you can see these little white tabs at the bottom. To get these out, you just press that clip out, and it kind of lifts the module up a little bit. There's some on the top here as well. And so you push those back, and then that loosens them up, and the module pops right out. So we'll pull out the second module, the existing one was uh, four gigabytes each, so we've got a total of eight gigabytes of RAM in this in stock. Okay, so we've got our new modules out of the package, and as you can see, the top part of the module is a little bit shorter than the bottom part as far as the uh, connectors go, and there is a slot, a little tab right there that will prevent you from putting it in upside down. So there's only one way these things can go in. So it's really a no-brainer as far as putting them back in. Just be careful not to break them, put them in sideways, or break these tabs, because if you do that, then you're in trouble. Okay, so we're just sliding in the module. Nice and easy. So while you're pressing this in, at the same time, pushing the clip up and it'll kind of seat down on its own like that. So just make sure it's all straight, clip down. If it's not, you'll know it because the computer will start up and not show all the memory in there. So anyway, we're gonna do our second module here. Make sure it's the right way. Kind of helps if you put one end down in there in the notch first and then slide the other one in the top. It's all in there. You can see the pin starting to move forward. So we're going to go ahead and click in and push and then push the other end. All right, and that is that. So now we'll fire it up. Uh, I got to plug everything back in and uh, we'll turn it on, make sure it recognizes, and I'll show you the screen where you can check that. Okay, so we hit the power button on the front here and uh, it's starting to boot up. Got the fans going. Hey, while I got you here, please subscribe. I don't have sponsors and um, the only way to support the channel is to follow the links down below um, to, say, buy the RAM or whatever else that I'm doing a video on. And because I'm an Amazon affiliate. And then um, 
subscribers once i get a thousand subscribers that'll help support the channel too but i don't have a thousand yet so i'd appreciate that let's go back around over here now this thing like i said is probably i'm guessing eight years old so it, it is pretty slow but this ram upgrade is definitely going to speed things up so I kind of showed you this before you did your upgrade down here at the bottom on the left, you click on the little windows icon and then click on the settings and that'll pop up with uh, a window here where you can look at your system and see what you've got as far as uh, memory, what your model number is, what software it's running, your RAM, everything. Okay, so down here at the bottom, this is Windows 10, by the way. You click on About, and this is the screen that you get here. Shows um, Inspiron 3847, that's our model number, and what uh, processor you've got, how much RAM we've got. And right here, uh, you can see that it does recognize the 16 gigabytes of RAM that we've installed. So that's what we're looking for here to make sure that uh, the upgrade was successful. All right, so as I said, uh, these desktops generally use the same RAM uh, modules, the DDR3. And so if you uh, want to buy the upgrade for your Dell Inspiron, you can click the link down below and it's a quick, easy upgrade. The first First upgrade I would ever do is the RAM. Um, cheapest, fastest uh, thing you can do. Secondly, would probably be a better hard drive. Third, processor. But that can get a little more complicated. So anyway, please subscribe, uh, give it a like, thumbs up, and check out my other videos. Follow the links below. Thank you.